Welcome back to Coleman Coliseum in Tuscaloosa, where Texas A&M has come from 14 points down to take a three-point lead at the break over Alabama, 39-36, with Wimp Sanders, and I'm Tom Roberts. And Wimp, we saw some outstanding play by a couple of individuals in the first half of this one. First of all, for the Crimson Tide of Alabama, it was Scenario Hillman who kind of got uh, things going for Bama. Hillman, the sophomore, gets out to end the first half of this one, nine points in the ball game. Well, he sure did. You, you, know, you see some really good moves by him. He and G. both really played pretty well to start the basketball game. And uh, they, they can, can, can continue that this second half. They just struggle a little bit towards the end of the, end of the first half. And off the bench, David LeBeau with eight points for the Aggies. Nice hit and go and just work it around, get the easy bucket. Josh Carter, he's been the leader all season long. A dozen points for Carter in the first half of this one. A three-point game. The stat's very close, too. Well, Getting on the ball, you have got to fight those strings. And then with the basketball now, the three from the corner by shot of not a good one. Blocked, and the Aggies come away with a turnover. Out on the wing, driving the lane is Sloan. No help there. Second bucket uh, of an Aggie. Going to get a timeout by Alabama. Yep. Yep. The Mark Gottfried Show on Tuesday starting in January. CSS, your source when it comes to Southeast sports. So make sure to visit css-sports.com for all the latest information. Carter up quickly on the inbound play with the three-point game now. A&M with the lead over Alabama. Here's Hollinger playing chase against Josh Carter, the three-point ace for Texas A&M. Got to play good defense now, don't you? Now that pitches, he pitches, he pitches me up. Top of the circle to Coleman. Yami yeah, wants to get it back to Steele. He does. Ron to Hollinger. 11 minutes to go in this one. And your time, patience, I think, is a factor for Alabama. Coleman, the jumper. There's Green with the rebound. Puts it back. Huge play for the freshman. 10 for him on the night. Outstanding rebound. He just hadn't played that much. Stayed in foul play against the national anthem. Three-point lead for A&M. Aggies with the basketball. Baseline to Carter. His jumper does not go, and it bounces right back to him. He'll get another chance this time from three-point range, and bottom. And I'm, I'm just calling the game, but it was a cheap foul. 13 points, four boards for Green as he must go to the bench for a while. Here's the tie playing good basketball. G with a steal ahead to Hill. He ducks it in there. Hillman now with 15, and Bama's cut it to one, 58 to 57. Crowd up and into this one. Hillman got a steal. Look at him. Drops it off to Knox. Knox can't get the shot up. Good ball. They get into the hands of Josh Carter. Carter drives to the baseline, dumps it back into the corner. The jumper from the baseline is good by B.J. Holmes. Between the Holmes. They'd love to get it to Carter. He's down in the lane right now. Oh, almost a steal by Green. It goes back short. Retrieved there. 15 on the shot clock for A&M as they bring it back across the line. Sloan against Steele. Drives to the baseline. The shot will fall. They're going to call a foul on Steele. Bench with 13 points for Bama. Well, you know, I think both these basketball teams would be smart if they'd let Steele and, and, and uh, Sloan, Sloan <laughs> get, get themselves in a situation where they had a little bit of opportunity to drive to the basket. Well, I right. read the floor a little bit. Well, they are hard to guard. Sloan's first shot, it's up, it's good. Six points for him. He's a 79% shooter on this season. Wimp's talking about Ron Steele, an 89% shooter for Bama. I just read that floor and let that, I would too. And let him take that thing to the basket. This time you get help off that dribble, you got somebody that's going to be open. Sloan, second shot, bounces around, falls. 7 for Donald, and we get a tie game. 67 apiece, 70. Hey, Cliff, right here, Tom. 70 seconds to go in this one. Steal to G. Carter out, Gardner. 
Top of the circle to Knox. Down low, it goes to G. His turn around, does it go? Shot will go, battle for the rebound, Knox. Back in, he'll go to the line with a chance for the three-point play. Big play that time by Knox. Uh, seven points for Knox, gives Bama a two-point lead. He has a free throw that could make it a three-point advantage. 52.7 left in this one. For Knox. Three point lead for Bama. AM with the ball, clock rolling. Sloan has it. Against Steele, gets the screen. Now goes Steele to the baseline. Shot is blocked by Knox. Battle for the rebound. They say it went off Steele. AM. G's guarding him. He comes all the way around, gets the screen, puts up the three. It does not go. Goes over the backboard. Alabama gets the ball. With three. Basketball without the turnover. Got to get the ball in the best free throw shooter's hands. And that's going to be Steele. And they inbound it to Ron. Gets it up court to G across the line. He's more than willing to be patient here. Lonzo dribbling around, gets it to Hillman. And finally, the foul called on LeBeau. Bo, that'll be his fourth. Doesn't really make much difference at this point. 20 on LeBeau. That'll be his fourth. Doesn't really make much difference at this point. 20. That'll be his fourth. Doesn't really make much difference at this point. 23 seconds, 23.1 to be exact. We'd like to do here, if they get the four or five point lead, if they're Alabama's call timeout. Sort of just exactly what you're going to do. 